destination uh, <laughs> I told myself I was gonna get here 4 p.m. and I got here exactly at 4 p.m. I set off around 1 30 from Accra and it cost me 35 cities to get here even with the small small buses and the stops I took so I'm finally here at my location Ooh, let's see what's in store This is just gorgeous looking at the sunrise, looking at the bridge and watching people fish farming. Oh, I said they're trying to catch fish, that's what I mean. And inhaling the beauty of this gorgeous place. Bother to open it, see what's inside, then all this with my items there. The mirror, of course. Oh, so that's just about it for me.
I'm all set and ready and geared up to go up there and hike. You know, I'm excited and I'm looking forward to this adventure. <laughs> out of this place and I thought okay let me share my view with you guys this is just a breakdown of the cost so far so I spent about $50 for the activities I did with Trident which is the hiking the abseiling and that of the kayaking which cost me $50 and then I spent an amount of 130 cities on food I ordered for yam fries and tilapia which cost 100 cities I asked for a drink and it cost 30 cities so in total I would say I spent about 640 cities at the Trident and right here at the hotel hmm, here is the problem so the initial plan was to book the room for a day and then go do the activities and leave i tried to communicate with the people here to ask what time i know the checkout time but you know some people give a, a free time frame and i was trying to communicate that but they felt like oh go and come when you come back you know we we'll sort it out upon leaving i didn't return within the checkout time and so I had to pay extra so I think we failed again at the budget <laughs> looks like anytime you make plans with an amount of money it just goes phew, that is Ghana for you no matter the budget <laughs> it looks like you are going elsewhere this place has a dormitory which I didn't know of I knew I saw it but I didn't know it was functioning because when I asked of the available rooms, they only mentioned their standard and the sea view. I feel like they, they kind of market more of their standard room and then the view room to Ghanaians than foreigners. When it comes to foreigners, when you ask for the dormitory, boom, voila, they give it to you. But for Ghanaians, they don't market that, and I don't know why. But yeah, um, did I enjoy the services here? Not really. Customer service to me starts with the main person and if the main person doesn't sit right, everything else doesn't sit right with me. So they can do better when it comes to the rooms. Yeah, the environment is nice, it's scenery. It's lovely when you're out there, but the rooms in which you can, that would invite you to stay more not so good for me, in my opinion. We failed the game. We deem the budget, you know. In the end, I paid 545 cities for this place. That would be like a full day and a half because I had to pay half of the amount of the room. The room goes for 290 cities. And the food, I had dinner here, which um, with drink and water, everything was about 103 cities. So yeah, that was, uh, I de they didn't even give me receipts, nothing so whatever it is is hard to do but hey i hope you enjoyed this video kindly subscribe if you want more of this budget series please let me know in the comment section and i will bring more your way the only way to help me on this channel liking this video sharing this video subscribing share it to your friends so that you guys can plan you know just so you know guys budget it can be two people so two people with budget frame of thousand five can you know enjoy i'm a solo one person so obviously <laughs> i'll catch you again some other time till then bye